Do you see it? I know there's a crazy reflection in the window here, but right behind me is the CN Tower. And honestly, at night, it's a really cool sight right from up here. I'm basically right across. I mean, there's some buildings closer, but I'm really close and uh, I'm higher than the buildings. I don't know if we can see the buildings in front. I'm higher than those buildings. So I have a really clear shot to the CN Tower. It's a pretty cool, uh, it's a pretty cool uh, tower actually, illuminated in blue like that. I, I, kinda, I kinda like that. It's why I chose a spot, honestly. Toronto at night is a really illuminated city. It's, uh, it really glows, it really comes to, to life with lights at night. And uh, we can also see the Rogers Center over there. Let's see. Oh, there you can see me. Wow. Come on, focus. I know, it's because it's a window. Now, I was going to open the window here, but when I, when I checked in, so this is an Airbnb. When I checked in, the guy downstairs told me that if I open these windows, the alarm goes off straight to the cop. So, probably not a good idea to open these windows. Let's see if maybe uh, we can get a little closer here. Yeah. Actually, the light. The light is killer. As we can see, more light. Here we go. Okay, that's good. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. Beauty. Wow. So we're right smack in downtown Toronto. And uh, we're on King Street right now. Really close to Union Station. And uh, we're just admiring the skyline. I've been to Toronto many times, but I've never actually really stayed in a place like this. I've never really had a clear, <clears throat> excuse me, my, my voice is still acting up. I've never had a clear, this clear of a shot of, uh, I mean, I don't know if the CN Tower is the main attraction here, but uh, it's definitely an icon in the city. It's uh, the biggest icon. Whenever anyone thinks about Toronto, what do they think about? They probably think about that. I know it's a dull, gray, plain, kind of slab of concrete that goes all the way up, but hey, it is what it is, and it's, uh, I think, I think it's still the, the tallest structure in the Western Hemisphere. So there I am. So, there we go, just enjoying the view, and let me get into the light here. Here we go. So, we're just enjoying the view, beautiful view. It's the reason why I chose the spot. It wasn't that expensive. It, it, was, uh, it's a, it actually came to $172 Canadian. I will give a walk around tour in the morning of the place, but basically, I can do it right now. We'll see if it looks better in the morning or at night. So door. And uh, this is the place, so. This is the bath, right here, there I am, wearing my Expos hat. This has actually come in handy, I forgot my winter hat at home, and uh, I refuse to buy one here. So I've been wearing this to keep me warm today, it's really cold here, minus one. Now that's not really cold, but it's cold, and uh, it's colder than it was back home. So. Bathroom, just regular bathroom. Took a bath already in there. I love taking baths. And uh, so, here we go. You walk in. It's nice and modern. You know, it's, uh, it's a little bigger than a studio. But basically you have a little kitchenette. Here, I haven't used any of this. So you have a little kitchenette, you have your modern appliances like your modern microwave, nice and clean, your modern stove over here, and uh, your spectacular view, <coughs> excuse me, you have this uh, slightly elevated table, I'm sure it has a specific name this kind of table, but I'll just say it's slightly elevated, and uh, this is the living room, let's, let's take a quick 
whoa, my words. Let's take a good look. So, view, TV, table, couch. And uh, this is the sleeping quarters. And uh, let's see what we got in here. More mirrors, lots of mirrors. Yeah, so blankets and, and things like that. Nothing overly exciting, but um, <coughs> now I didn't look at the prices of hotel rooms. Um, I didn't look at the price of hotel rooms in Toronto, but I don't think that I could have got a better deal. 172 right smack that right smack tab downtown with a clear with a clear eyed view of the CN Tower. And oh, check it out. You can see as we're talking, you can see someone coming down. I don't know if you can see it. Someone is coming down. There's an elevator going down. So someone was just up there. Oh, and there's another one going up. And as we can see, the CN Tower also changed colors. It's red now. So that's pretty cool. And uh, let's take a look what we can see on that side. So the P WC Price Waterhouse Cooper building. And here we are going out of focus. Camera has a real hard time focusing on anything that's beyond the window. There we go. Here we go. We get we get a light display. Wow, light show. Very cool. Honestly, this is kind of entertaining me. Is it sad that the CN Tower is entertaining me? I don't know. Probably. <laughs>